Hello everyone, Hilary here of Scrappy Mommy and I'll be sharing my latest project. This is the scrap booklets with a backpack box. So this is a box but you can actually wear this because it is a backpack. I added these two handles at the back which you can wear on your back, on your shoulders and then I added this handle right here that you can use to hang this box so there that is the back of the box and then right here on the sides I used acetate and on the front as well so you can see the inside and as you can see inside there's still a lot of space where you can place anything you want aside from the scrap booklets so I wanted this project to be as simple as possible very easy and fun to make and a project that won't take you a day to finish so that's why I came up with this and I also want to make use of my scraps and the papers left from the previous paper collections that I've used from my past projects that's why I came up with this project so right here on the box I added this ribbon and this um, string and I added this acrylic pieces this is from the project life kit by Heidi Swap so I added this sentiment and a star and then the paper collection I used on this box is from this paper collection I'm not sure which brand but this is from this collection also the inside of the box I use the paper from this so this box open up like this oh sorry I also added some eyelets right here at the front so it opens up like this I used a magnet and I intentionally did not cover up this magnet so this is the inside this is the lid and I just used a washer right here so inside there are three scrap booklets and I'm gonna show you each I'm gonna walk you through each of the scrap booklets so this is the first one the first scrap booklet um, for this project I didn't set any rules for myself I just added piece by piece while working on it I made it the way I want to and I feel from that moment so this is what I came up with and on this first one I used acetate on the whole cover right here even the spine is acetate and I used Dino and Friends um, 12 by 12 paper collection kit from Echo Park. I've used that paper collection on my baby mini album last 2019, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. And these are the papers left. So right here, I used um, washi tape on this front cover also on the back and on inside and back cover as well and then right here this is the paper from the collection and then on this um, scrap booklet I used acetate and five and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches envelope from recollections I didn't use any cardstock on this scrap booklet so this one opens up like this and this is a 3x4 from the collection from the cut apart sheet and this one opens up another 3x4 right here and then a pocket I added this photo mat this is a sticker from the collection and then right here is a belly band I added another photo mat insert and this is a sticker from the collection 
another spots for photos so right here you can place a 3 by 4 photo or a wallet size a wallet size photo like so and then I'm gonna check the size you can place a 3 by 4 photo like so this is a 3 by 4 photo and then right here is a wallet size photo like so then another wallet size and you can use this as your journaling spot or you can add another photo and then this one opens up and then another sorry another spot for a photo and this one goes up oops another spot for photos or journaling and then this is a sticker from the collection and then i added this photo mat insert as well this is a three by four from the cut apart sheet and this one opens up and another photo right here you can add a three by four photo but you must um cut it down so i can fit the photo mat here or you can add a wallet size photo if you want and then a smaller photos here this one goes down and then a 3 by 4 photo I'm not sure if this is a 3 by 5 you can place a 3 by 5 photo like so this is a 3 by 5 photo so there and then this is the back And then a 4x6 photo right here. I'm not sure if this is 4x6 but you can place a large photo right there. A 4x6 photo. And then there's a photo mat right here on the top pocket. And this is a sticker from the collection. A journaling spot or another photo. So there and then at the back this is the back and this is a pocket right here an acetate pocket and I made a photo mat another 3 by 4 from the collection and then another photo mat I just pieced it with a with a pattern paper so there and this is open right here on the sides so there that is the first one I'm gonna show you the second scrapbooklet this is scrapbooklet number two and right here I added this pocket and then this is a sticker from the collection I used um, best wishes 12 by 12 collection kit from Echo Park as well on this scrap booklet and I used uh, I used that from the birthday folio that I've made last 2015 I think so these are the papers left from that collection and right here i also made an acetate pocket and i added these stickers and then there are photo mats inside here you can add a i think a wallet size photo yes a wallet size photo like so and then just plain at the back so on this scrap booklet i use acetate and cardstock and then these are three by fours from the collection and this one opens up like this oh sorry this one goes up and then this is a three by four from the cut apart sheet and another 
photo opportunity right here you can add a three by four like so or a wallet size photo like so so it goes to the right and then i made this for the journaling spot so i added some stickers right there and then this is a pocket and i added this photo mat and this is a 3 by 4 photo mat i think you can add a 3 by 4 photo like so no a smaller one because i added some stickers these are stickers from the collection you can add a wallet size photo like so and then you can journal something right here or add more stickers and just plain at the back and then right here is an acetate photo mat and you can add a 4x6 photo right here this is open so you can slide in a photo like so you can add a 4x6 a 3x4 or a wallet size same on the back you can slide in a photo like so and I just fussy cut this this is from the cut apart sheet I'm gonna put that back later so this one goes to the left and this is a sticker from the collection and you can add a 3 by 5 photo like so then this one goes up these are stickers as well from the collection and you can add a 3 by 4 photo like so and then right here there's a photo mat and these are diagonal pockets so this is a sticker from the collection and this one goes up and there are two photo mats and you can add a 3 by 4 photo like so landscape and then a 3 by 5 right here you just need to cut it down a little bit like so and just plain at the back and then this one goes to the right and this one goes to the left and then you can add a 4 by 6 photo right here you can slide it in here like so this is open on the side there and then i'm just gonna put it back Hold on guys, I'm just gonna put this back. Oops. Then there's a photo mat right here like so and then you can add photos here if you want to four by six photos or two three by fours whatever you like this is the back and it opens up like this and three more photos then you can use this for journaling spot as well on this side and i just added some stickers there and this is from the cut apart sheet it goes here on the pocket it goes all the way through the other side as you can see there and this is the back so there that is scrapbooklet number two and i love the way how this one turned out so let me show you the last one This is scrapbooklet number three, and I used this paper collection from Inu Greeting, and I think this is a tra sorry a travel theme paper collection. 
and this one has some um, these cut aparts as well but it doesn't have any stickers so right here for the closure I used ribbon closure it opens up like this I added some eyelets there and I used acetate and cardstock as well for this scrapbooklet and then it opens up like this and then right here I made a slim pocket and I just added this paper clip to keep this um, pockets down so I'm gonna move it out and this is a slim pocket I added this acetate piece this is a photo mat so you can add photos like so this is for a journaling spot and I just added this paper clip from Tim Holtz so you can have this as a journaling spot and then you can insert or slide in some photos you can slide in um, wallet size photos or 3 by 4 photos like so this one goes to the left and another photo uh, sorry another packet and another acetate photo mat this is also for journaling spot and then you can slide in a photo like so same on the back like so and then this one goes to the left as well and then another pocket right here and another acetate photo mat so you can slide in a photo like so this is the back and another cut apart there I think this is open yes this is open as well so you can slide it in there and then this one goes to the left as well and then this is a pull out from the side pocket right here so this is a photo mat you can add a 4 by 6 photo mat right here like so and then as well on the front you can add a photo you can slide in a photo and then this is for the journaling spot so you can just tuck it in as well so there and then just plain at the back and then right here is another acetate photo mat and I just made a slit pocket right here and then you can slide in a photo like a 2 by 1 ah sorry 3 by no 2 by 2 this is a small photo I think this is one and a half by 2 inches so you can insert it inside you can insert the photo inside it won't fit I think you you can slide in a you can insert a one and a quarter by two photo so if you have a one and a half photo you, you must cut it down so you can insert it inside there you can insert the photo like so you can add another at the back and you can see it so there and then this one goes to the right another 3 by 4 photo I uh, know a wallet size photo 2 by 3 and then a 4 by 6 photo right here 
like so or a 3 by 5 photo and then at the back oops then this is the back I made a diagonal pocket using acetate and this is a photo mat and this is from the cut apart sheet I added this Tim Holtz clip, paper clip and then you can add a wallet size photo and then this is a pocket as well and another photo mat with a cut apart this um, tag you can use for journaling spot and then a 3 by 5 photo right here so there that's the last one and I mat this pocket like so I just fussy cut this piece right here from the pattern paper and I mat it this way so there that's number three and this is the spine and this is the back so there that's my scrapbooklets and if you want to make this project the tutorial is already available on my Etsy shop it's only PDF tutorial there are no video tutorials on my shop only PDF tutorials and you can purchase it there and I also placed the link in the description box as well and on the right corner of your screen so you can check it out and also included the tutorial for the backpack box okay guys so there uh, i hope you all like it and thank you for watching and let me know what you think so please leave a comment down below and i want to say thank you guys for still supporting my channel and you can now give your support by clicking the super thanks button just right below this video and i would really appreciate it and thank you so much for still supporting my channel and i hope you will continue to do so and and please also support my other social media accounts all the links are in the description box please like and follow my facebook page and follow me on instagram i also post some updates there and so you will know um, what I've been up to. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And I love to know what you think. So please leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.